Hey, did anyone hear the new Cuphead DLC is out? So what better to do than to finish the main game and then we'll play the DLC. And could you believe it, we are almost to the end of the game. The main game, not the DLC. Could you believe it? What in Neptune are we gonna do in the theater? Watch Thor Love and Thunder? Oh dear, it's a play! It better not be anything like Singy Edie time. My god, that was a disaster. What is this anyway? A wedding? Where'd you go? Ah! Well, screw you, Sally Stage Play. You know I hate surprises! And your pink parable hearts are just doing me a favor, you know? It's a good opportunity to try my new axe charm. You axed for this lady? Oh no, that fan trick isn't gonna work on me. I hate plays. Alright, let's try this again, lady! Oh no, not this again! Who owns a parasol that can teleport someone? Oh, maybe the Queen of Switzerland or something. Except it doesn't have holes. You fight like a girl, ow! Okay, that must be comeuppance for being sexist. Ow, oh, hey, I learned my lesson! You fight like a baby! A big annoying baby! Now put down that parasol and we settle this like adults! With a lawsuit! Hey, wait, get back here! You can't just run away, we're fighting! Hey, how did they change the background so quickly? Ah! Alright, second phase, second phase! I have full HP now! The quicker you die, the quicker I get to finish this game! Why say we finish it? Round two, fight! Well now I know you're not the Queen of Switzerland! The umbrella doesn't have any holes in it! Help me out here, giant ghost! My tentacles are too weak and fragile! I'm the Queen of America, cause I'm using a gun! Also, that doesn't make sense, America is a democracy! And Bikini Bottom is probably communism. Ah, how much longer is this fight? Ah! Feel my ghostly wrath! Lay, 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 lay! You mess with your octopus, you get the ink! I will beat ya! Okay, seriously, I don't know why I'm saying these ridiculous monologues. I mean, do YouTubers even do that? I, I think I need to set a balance between being in character and just acting like a normal person. Hi, how are you? I'm Squidward Tentacles and I'm playing Cuphead. This boss is quite difficult. Wait, what's that? Ah! Yeah, look, I win, she died. Oh wait, that's not true. She has a cardboard cutout. Now's a good time to use this giant ghost guy again. Also, how's the prop screw able to change that background so fast? It was only a matter of seconds. Jeez, oh, we have people like that in Bikini Bud. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I saw that. I knew that. I knew parrying that star meant something. It meant survival. For a few seconds. Oh, look, I have to escape the big one again. That's right, I made a SpongeBob SquarePants reference. As if I don't every single video. That's when I make a beeline for the tree line. That's when I make a beeline for the tree line. Does anybody even remember that SpongeBob song? It was amazing! Okay, SpongeBob told me I had to use Chaser for this phase. And he was right! What the hell is this parasol? Why am I still calling it that? Everybody sticks with plain old umbrella. Knock out! Ain't that Sally stage play I win! Dr. Cajal's robot in Junkyard Jive. A robot, eh? That sounds interesting. Oh dear. 
Oh, it's Dr. Wily and the Iron Giant. And he has a laser. Okay, I'm shooting the laser. I want to get rid of that laser. But I think his weak spot is Jester. Wait, does he have three weak spots? There are so many things happening at once. Now oh, I'm sticking with the laser. It's taking up most of the screen. Hey, this Iron Giant. Okay, he probably does have three weak spots. Chest this time! Bam! Right at the heart! I have three of them! That's a scientific fact! And all three of them have stopped beating. You know, get it? Because I died? You know, after seeing Dr. Wily, Cuphead is like Mega Man. You're shooting blasters out of your hands, you get to pick which boss you want to fight, and you have access to various weaponry. I know that because I used to play Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. Gosh, it was such a pain having to fight Sigma. And what is this robot doing with its arms? Ah, this game is literal bullet hell. Because I'm dodging bullets, and the final boss is probably the devil. I mean, it makes sense, it's the devil. Now I say we break this robot's heart. Physically, not mentally. Who would want to have a romantic relationship with an artificial intelligence? Well, other than Plankton. Dagnap those heat-seeking bombs! This is why I don't get along with mad scientists. There's Plankton, who's a huge pain in the ass. There's Sandy, who's a nut job. Do you know how many times that rodent experimented on me? My perfect and attractive body have better things to do than to go along with these ridiculous experiments. Oh, and don't get me started with Dr. Robotnik. You know, since I'm playing Sonic 2. Actually, I'm gonna play all the classic Sonic games. Especially since I have Origins now. But my god, this boss fight is HARD! This robot's just throwing random bullcrap at me! And it's working! Oh, and did we really have to fight in a junkyard? Oh, great, now it's the magnet! The magnet's so annoying, it pulls me to places. Alright, second phase, let's do this for perhaps the 40th time. Just keep bombing his floating head. Then we'll be able to finish this game ahead of time. Come on, giant robot, I can do this all day! Okay, seriously, I'm getting bored here. Oh, finally, third phase, let's get this over with! Oh god, what's this? This guy is Dr. Robotnik, he's got a Chaos Emerald and everything! Well, maybe he's Plankton, that maniacal laugh. But here it comes again, dodge everything! What kind of third phase was that? The walls, the bullet hell! Come on, Squidward, second time's a charm. I say that all the time and fail miserably. Okay, don't think about attacking, think about surviving. Why is this bomb following me? And what's with all these walls? What is happening right now? Everything, everything is happening right now! <sighs> How many times have I died already? This piece of garbage robot! I can't take it anymore! You can do this. Barnacles! Chaos Emerald. I already! Oh, come on! Eat this! And this! And this! Holy crap! Yes! Yes! I win! I win!
Screw those probably a few minutes to me, those an hour! Holy smokes, it's a ghost and a train and two parable. Whoa, this is a new mechanic. I can move my cart around. Now moving on, why is there an eyeless ghost with eyes in his hands? Okay, this is confusing. There's also floating pumpkins tossing parable bars. Oh, this, this, I, I have no idea what's going on here. But the context seems to be that I'm in a cart, I'm chasing around a train, and stuff is happening. Now let's take the skeleton down! Oh, I knew it! The pumpkins are moving me around. Oh, dear, I'm gonna get crushed. I'm gonna get crushed. Oh, oh, that was close. But I'm sure I'll completely understand this level. All it takes are a couple of tries. Next stop, my funeral. Oh, please, I'm already dead inside. Come out, come out, giant skeleton. I've got a bone to pick with you. All right, I bet he'll go right, right. I knew it, he is going right. And then, um, maybe he'll go back to the middle? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm good at guessing. And then, perhaps he'll go to the left? Okay, never mind. But hey, two right guesses in a row. Ah, this takes me back to the good times. Back when I was an astrologist, or astrologer, I don't know the word. The point is, I used to work around the horoscope. Unfortunately, I was fired for fraudulence or whatever. So what if I can't actually predict the future? Now who are these two lollipops? Oh dear, oh dear! This guy's bursting out lightning! Oh, I need to get rid of these two immediately! And the one in the right's gonna do the exact same thing. Three, a ghost! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! This game, I tell ya! It can be real annoying! I thought technology was supposed to be an escape from reality, not a reminder! And yet I see so much Spongebob memes on the internet, and I still get annoyed! No, Spongebob, you cannot have my nectar! And holy crap, I'm fighting the locomotive. Variable tail, though. Okay, pea shooter's really hard to aim it, I'm using chaser. Break that train's heart, physically! Who would date a locomotive? Parry the tail and shoot the heart multiple times! Now I just need to avoid all of this fire and these weird bone things coming out of his nose! Gosh, these two lollipops are more annoying than Spongebob and Patrick! And that says a lot! Alright, that's one down! Okay, I'm too lazy to aim, so I'm just gonna use Chaser for the rest of this boss fight! Besides, these weird little ghosts are a nuisance as well! Who keeps moving my car?! Alright, I'm really just camping back here at the right side of the screen. Your ludicrous lightning can't reach me, lollipop man! <laughs> now I have to deal with this local locomotive! Better not be Patrick riding that locomotive. Ah, that brings me back to when I was a music teacher. I got fired and arrested for fraudulence. So what if I'm not Squilliam Fancy Son? By the power of Grayskull, I have a giant ghost! <laughs> Surrender, locomotive! I have the power of 80s cartoon nostalgia by my side! Well, everyone, I think that that is all the bosses in Inkwell Isle 3. Which means Part 8 will be against the Devil and perhaps King Dice as well. And the rest of it will be the delicious last course. So, thank you all for watching and yeah, bye.